Welcome to Luminous Program. Let us place our life in the hands of our Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Lord Jesus Christ, take away from our hearts all thoughts of fear, all those things which are disturbing our life. Help us to always believe with you and with your help we can do everything in our life. You are our Lord and you are our helper, Lord Jesus Christ. You never leave us alone. Always we are in your hands. Help us to believe all the time of our life, especially when we are going through difficulties, you are carrying us in your own hand. Help us to know you will never leave us alone. Lord Jesus Christ, here are our lives. Help us to believe the word of God. Help us to believe all the promises you have given in this book of life and place our hands, place our hearts, place our life always into your hands. Lord Jesus Christ, help us always to walk in the light of Christ, which take away all the darkness from our hearts, from our lives. Help us to always believe what you taught us and what you are teaching us through the word of God. Mary, you are our mother. You are the helper in our life, the great intercession which we make in your name will be heard by your son. Mary, mother of the Redeemer, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Today, let us speak about a theme, fear not, but believe. We know so many times in our life, fear comes because we don't believe in the word of God. Jesus is calling to each and every one of us today to believe in his gospel, believe in his promises, which take away the fear from our own hearts. Let us go and read the word of God, John chapter 11, verse 38 onwards. And again, Jesus was deeply troubled. Then they came to the grave. It was a cave with a stone rolled across in the entrance. Rolled the stone aside. Jesus told them, but Martha, the dead man's sister said, Lord, by now the smell will be terrible because he was being dead for four days. Jesus responded, Didn't I tell you that you will see God's glory if you believe? So they rolled the stone aside. Then Jesus looked up to heaven and said, Father, Thank you for hearing me. You always hear me, but I said it loud for the sake of all these people standing here so they will believe you sent me. Then Jesus shouted, Lazarus, come out. And Lazarus came out, bound in a cloth. His faith was warped in a head cloth. Jesus told them, unwrap him and let him go. Again here, we have the great story where Jesus is speaking to a dead body and the dead body which was in the tomb for four days coming out with life. Probably this will be our situation too today. We don't believe in Jesus Christ. We had a lot of dreams and probably it is already in the tomb, our dreams. 
and even we forget about it. But Jesus is telling us, I can be in front of that tomb where you buried your dreams and I can give it back to you. But what we do or what we have to do in our life, believe in the words of Jesus Christ. Don't be afraid. So many times we think that we are alone. There is nobody. In Deuteronomy chapter 31, verse 8, Lord is telling to each and every one of us, you are not alone. I will not leave you alone. I will be with you. I am your God. Are you ready to accept the God's call? He is telling to us, are we ready to believe? If you really believe in the word of God, we will not be alone in this world. We will have always the helping hands of our Lord Jesus Christ, our God, who is always walking with us. Sometimes we say, there is nobody in this earth who loves me and who is there to help me. Prophet Isaiah, chapter 66, verse 13, God is telling you us, telling to each and every one of us, dear son, with a motherly care, I will take care of you. With a motherly care, I will take care of you. We know our mothers. We know how our mother loves each and every one of us. And God is telling us, with a motherly care, I will take care of you. Again, the problem is this one. Do we believe in the word of God? That is the same word Jesus asked to Martha. Martha, do you believe that I have the power? If you believe Jesus has the power and he will take care of us each and every week. Then sometimes we think that there is nobody to help us. We have no power in this world. But Jesus is telling through prophet Isaiah chapter 41, verse 10, I am your strength and I will lift you up in my right hand. With my righteous hand, I will uphold you. If we are in the hands of God, who made earth and heaven, who made the galaxy, is our father, and we are in his hand, what things we have to be afraid? What things? He's our father. He's always with us. Sometimes we say, we have so many enemies in this world. Deuteronomy chapter 3, verse 22 tells us, you don't be afraid. I will fight for you. You keep calm and quiet. I will fight for you. Brothers and sisters, even if we have some enemies in our life, or somebody doesn't like us, Please be calm. Revenge is not ours. God called us to love even our enemies because God will fight for us and the victory will be ours. You just leave everything in his hand. I just remember when I was in Mexico, I was 28 years old. I came to a church, which was a small church, and I was not even, even able to speak Spanish. And all of a sudden, the people in that parish, they tried to construct a new church past 23 years. And they were not able to do. When I was there with my 28 years, I thought, if God is with us, who will be against us? So we just start. They were just telling behind me, you, without speaking any word in Spanish, without knowing anyone in this country, new to the culture, all the priests, those who were here, 
they tried to construct this e church for 23 years. You think that you can? I just told, I cannot. But if God is with us, we can. We started to construct the church. We made a plan for seven years. I can just tell you, one and a half year, we constructed that church called San Martin Kavajero. It is God who works for us. When we really believe in his words, he will be always with us. All the heaven will be with you. And this is the word of God. This is not my words. When you believe, all the heaven will fight for you. We know Martha, the sister of Lazarus, was saying, don't take away the storm. It, is, it will be smelly. It will be terrible. Probably today, our situation is terrible. Your marriage life, your family life, your connection with your children, your relationship with your friends, your relationship with the people, those who are around you, probably it is smelly, but Jesus is telling to us, he can change this situation in an instant. Only Jesus stood in front of the tomb and he told, take away the stone, move the stone. What is that stone? Our doubt. Whenever we are doubting, even Jesus cannot do anything in our, in our life. That's why he was able to bring back a dead man from the tomb. He was also able to take away the storm with the word, but he didn't do. He said to the people over there, please remove the storm. The same way Jesus is telling to each and every one of us today, please remove the storm of doubt from your life. We know in Matthew chapter 14, where Jesus was walking on the water, when Peter saw it was Jesus, Peter asked, if it is you, please allow me to walk on the water. And Peter started to walk. And all of a sudden, he placed his eyes on the storm and he started to sink. And Jesus called him, man of little faith, why do you doubt? The same thing he is asking to each and every one of us. Believe, don't doubt. He is a God, powerful God. There is nothing impossible to our God. That is the thing we have to believe. We have to believe all the promises of our Lord Jesus Christ. I will be with you. I will not leave you alone. You are my son. We know Jesus is telling to each and every one of us, you are mine. You are not alone in this world. You are not fighting alone. He is fighting for us. Take it with fear. I just heard a story of a missionary he was going in a horseback in a remote village. When he was going, he has to go through a forest and there was a little road. All of a sudden, the horse stopped. Then the missionary, when he was looking in front, there was a big gigantic snake on the floor. And the missionary looked at and he saw, if he moves, that snake can beat them. But he saw his head was under a stone. So he thought, if I took a bigger stone, and if I can aim the head of this snake, and I can throw this, I can kill that snake. And this man, has taken a big stone, he was aiming the head, and he just thrown. But we know with fear, he didn't get the aim, the stone was gone another place. But all of a sudden, he came to know something. 
It was not a snake with life. Somebody else who has gone before him was already killed that snake. Dear brothers and sisters, in certain times in our life, when we come, we will have gigantic snake before us, which is frightening us. But God has gone before us, and God has killed, and he has prepared a way for each and every one of us. Only, only when we believe, we will be able to proceed in our life. Otherwise, we will be stopping. We will be frightened. We will be discouraged in our life. We know very well, Jesus is always there. There was one time, four people were carrying a paralyzed man. When they came in front of where Jesus was, there was no place. They can easily go back, but they didn't do that one. With faith, they opened the house and he was put in front of Jesus Christ. And we know when Jesus saw the faith of these people, he said to the man who was paralyzed, take away your coat and go back. Believe. Our Jesus is always with us. He will never leave us alone. He is our God. He is our Father. And He is always with us, taking care of us. Let us place again our life in the hands of our Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Lord Jesus Christ, we place our life in your hands. Take away all kind of fear from our hearts. We believe in you. We believe in the hospital. We believe in the word of God, which can save our life, which can take away all the fear from our hearts. Lord Jesus Christ, we place all these prayers through the Holy Spirit into your hands. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless us the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. I'm very happy to introduce Shalom World, a new Catholic, family-oriented Catholic TV that will be 24-7 English-speaking television channel. I hope that this, through this media we will be able to continue to spread the good news of the gospel of Jesus Christ to the world, a world that needs shalom, that needs the peace that comes from the King of Peace, Jesus Christ. I congratulate all those who participate in supporting this new media and that it may continue to reach millions and millions of people all over the world where we need the light of Christ. Shalom world. God's own channel.